In a joint effort between the Interscholastic League and the Special Olympics, 10 Rhode Island high schools have been participating in a unified basketball league. Today at Cranston West High School, the Mighty Falcons are hosting the Hendrick and Hawks for their final home game of the season. And while the first year of the program is winding down, the spirit surrounding it is still well on the rise. As you can see, the energy in this gym is electric. Game. Watching a unified basketball game. Good job, Kev. This is our first year. It's been an extremely exciting year. So far, it's been a tremendous success. A couple weeks after people had been to games, we had like a waiting list of about 10, 12 people that wanted to play. This is an initiative that came out of Special Olympics International in Washington. And it has been amazing so far. Everyone's excited about it. About getting our high school students with intellectual disabilities more involved in their school community. It's a really good experience for these kids, and I'm glad that like the schools are here to support it. A lot of support. Every game we have, every home game, even away games. We had one coach who's been coaching for 25 years come to us and say, this is the most important thing he's ever done. I think this is definitely the largest game anyone's going to. All our classmates came. It was really fun to see everyone cheering. And that really makes you feel good. We want our students to really experience what it is to play high school sports. Uh, how to be a teammate, how to get along with one of each other, have respect for one of each other. It's a great league. I'm very, very happy about it. Have you made any baskets this year? I made 17 so far. scored a lot, unlike me. I haven't scored any yet. I'm the only one on the team who hasn't scored, <laughs> but whatever. I just like being with my friends out there. I have lots of assists, of course. <laughs> Today, being able to do it during school shows people what it is and what we do. Just Hanging out with the guys, the partners are great. Goofing around and stuff. Have you gone to other games this year? Um, yes, I came to the last game. Did you watch the Falconets and Westernets? I did that last game, so that was really cool. We all got a little nervous when we saw everyone walking in, but it ended up being a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Great job. Hearing our names. The Cranston West Falcons opened their gym doors just a bit earlier on the morning of Cinco de Mayo to celebrate the end to a successful first run where athletes and partners have played together on the same court. Bring it home and people will understand you know what's going on and what it does for the community and for all the other kids. Unified basketball it's a team sport. And this is mostly the first experience where these athletes are coming together in a team atmosphere. And they're all really enjoying themselves and getting into the game. These kids actually get to play with their school's uniform wearing their school uniform. We're giving young men and women with intellectual disabilities the opportunity to participate in the sport of basketball but it's so much more than that. While the league does have certain rules, such as a three to two athlete to partner ratio on the court and a one to one ratio on the roster, as far as the seriousness of the scorebook goes, the hard nosed competition that is fierce in the moment is more often than not judged with a soft heart. We kind of let traveling uh, go a little bit, almost like the NBA. You don't have to be a professional athlete. Anybody can join. First game, I think we scored six points. We struggled just to get a basket. First practice, I didn't know what to expect. I was a little nervous on you know, exactly how it was going to play out. From the partners, from the athletes, I didn't know how they were going to interact on the floor. You saw how awesome it was when somebody scored a basket. You know, just see the team grow and get better. Their natural personalities start to take over. They just looked at their parents and they got so excited. We've had a lot of people actually come here that saw the first game and said how much our team's improved over the year. You see the growth of the partners and the athletes. They're doing a lot of interaction interacting with different kids that they wouldn't have interacted with before. The state of Connecticut, 10,000 students with intellectual disabilities play in this program. I don't know if we can ever get to that, but that's our goal. We had one mom give us a call. His son was autistic, came home every day, did very, very little speaking at the dinner table. Once he joined one of the unified teams, he comes home, he talks about friendships that he's made. He's talking about his uniform, about getting his uniform and putting his school colors on. And I think that's what this program is really all, all about. Members of the Unified League will be able to sport their school colors on a volleyball court as well next year. For Varsity Life, I'm Melanie Pulowski.